Hello everyone and welcome to Game Gango, the video series where we learn Japanese through video games. In this episode we're going to be looking at some upcoming gameplay trailer footage of Cyberpunk 2077. This is an upcoming cyberpunk themed game that's kind of like Ghost in the Shell mixed with Akira, mixed with Grand Theft Auto, and it looks to be a really interesting game. And actually the Japanese dub also looks to be surprisingly good. It's done by the same studio that did The Witcher 3, CD Project Red, and they did a fantastic job with the Japanese dub in The Witcher 3, and they seem to be doing a really great job uh, with Cyberpunk 2077. So the goal of this video is to make it so that you, no matter what level you are in Japanese, you'll be able to understand every single piece of Japanese used in this trailer from start to finish by the time you've finished watching this video. And so the way this video is structured is first we have the trailer. So the trailer plays with the Japanese subtitles that I've transcribed and also the literal translation underneath to help you understand literally what's being said. Then we go through an analysis stage where we actually break down all of the language that's being used so that you can understand everything that's being said. That's where we really get the lesson part of this video where we understand everything and break it all down. And then finally we'll play the trailer one more time but this time without any subtitles this will be a good chance for you to be able to actually see how much you've learned maybe see how much you can remember and also practice your listening ability now all of this will be separated in the chapter function so you can just click straight to whichever section of the video you would like to go to on both the YouTube bar so you can instantly go to any part of the video you would like if you want to watch the trailer or if you want to do the analysis or if you want to test yourself with the final video so with that out of the way, let's jump into Cyberpunk 2077。ロッカーされてる。我々は新たなプロジェクトごとによりほら、家まで送るわ。サイバーパンク 時は人々にとってナイトシティは希望で輝く街なのだ。え嘘でしょ。そんなまさか。<笑> 復讐のためだ。この町にもふさわしい動機だろう。アウトロー
超人的な反射神経を有するガンスリンガーからあらゆるテックを意のままに操るネットランナーまで自分だけのスタイルを確立しろ。物語の中君はとある試作型の生態チップを強奪するも莫大な報酬に保管容器が破損しやむなくそのチップを自分の頭に挿入することになる中にはデジタルデータ化されたジョニー・シルバーハンド死んだロッカーボーイの魂が保存されていた俺の頭の中に本物のテロリストがいるってことか彼はチップを作った企業を倒すべく復讐に燃えている奴らの暴走を止め叩きのめすためなら何だってする危険な力が秘められた謎の生態チップそれを手中に収めようとする者は後を絶たぬお前の息の根を止めてやるってな物語の行く末は君の選択によって変化する始末してそのために来たんでしょとはいえ戦いいがナイトシティの全てではないプレイスタイルファッション乗り物人との付き合いやロマンス何をするかはプレイヤー次第だ次世代のオープンワールドアドベンチャーサイバーパンク2077の世界へようこそ。Okay, so starting off, we can hear the beeping sound of a helicopter crashing down. And so here the guy says, We've been locked on. And so he says, Rokon sareteiru. So, Rokon means that you've been locked on, right? Here it's kind of a targeting term to say that, you know, when you've locked on a missile launcher, that is Roku on. And then he says, Sareteiru. So, this is a short form of Sareteiru, which just means that something is being done in the passive sense. Suru is to do, and this Sareiru means to be done to someone, like the passive form of to do. And so he's saying that we have been locked on. Rokon sareteiru. The engine has been shot. Engine ni hidan shita. So, engine is the katakana version of engine. <laughs> engine. And this is just to say engine. Then we have engine ni. So, this is showing where something has happened. Something has happened to the engine. Engine ni hidan shita. So, hidan here means to have been shot, or it could mean to be. Bombed. So maybe they've been shot by a missile or by just some bullets. And so here is Hidan. And so actually, hit here means from damage, and done means from bullet. So literally, bullet damage. And then we have Shita. Now, this is the past form of Suru. So we've already seen three forms now of Suru to do, Suru to do, Sareru has been done or is being done, and then Shita is the past form. <laughs> Withdraw. From here. So we have tetai suru yo. So tetai means to evacuate, to withdraw, to retreat. Suru means to do, and then yo is kind of a way of adding that emphasis, right? So saying that we are going to withdraw. Tetai suru yo. So clearly the people in the helicopter are saying that we gotta get out of here, right? So tetai suru yo. It looks like we're going to lose control. So we have seigyo o ushinai soda. So seigyo means control. So control here is control of a machine or perhaps control of a device. And so this device has lost control, that is ushinao. Now this means to lose something. What have we lost? Seigyo, control. Seigyo o ushinai soda. So this soda means that it appears to be the case. So so is saying that something looks to be a certain way. And then da, it is. So da is the casual form of des, to be. So it is seeming like we are losing control. Seigyo o ushinai soda. <laughs> 
<laughs> and here we have some crazy laughter <laughs> so kind of like the joker style laugh and so we have the like the ah ha, 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 right that ah is like you know kind of showing a little bit of craziness to the laughter CD Project Red is a game company Storyteller. CD Project Red is a game development company and also a storyteller. So starting off we have CD Project Red Wa. So this Wa is indicating what the topic is. So you can think of this in the same way of like as for something or in regards to something. Right. So as for CD Projekt Red, Game Kaihatsu Sha De Ari. So Game Kaihatsu means game development. Game is game. Kaihatsu is development. And then we have Kaisha or here Gaisha because it's connected to the word. And this means a company. Right. So just any company in the whole wide world, uh, you would have this Kaisha at the end of that company. So Sony or Nintendo, they all have this Kaisha added. It means, you know, the company. So here we have Game Kaihatsu Gaisha. So a game development company. De ari. This means to be. De aru is to be. It's kind of a more fancy way of saying des, right? It's kind of a storytelling way of saying des. However, it's de ari because it's continuing on in a sentence. It's not yet the end of the sentence, so it turns into ari to show that there's more coming. So, as for CD Projekt Red, they are a game development company. Story tera demo aru. So story terra, this means storyteller, demo is also an aru is to be. So it's saying that they're also a storyteller. And so demo aru is just like de aru, however it's saying to be also the case. De aru to be, demo aru to also be. They are also storytellers. As for us with each new project. So wareware wa. So wareware means us or we. And then wa is showing again what the topic is. So now we know that they're talking about themselves. As for us, wareware wa, aratana projecto gotoni. So aratana is the same as atarashi and it means new. Aratana projecto, this is a project, so a new project, and then goto ni means at each one. So with each new project. Aratana projecto goto ni, yori na. more magnificent, yori sodai na. So yori means more, yori sodai means magnificent, grand. So an even more grander something, it's a na adjective, that's where the na is there. So yori sodai na, an even more magnificent. And even more soul stirring games we have come to attempt to make. So, soしてyori means and or also. So, continuing on from and even more magnificent, yori sōdai na, soしてy and also yori kokoro o yusaburu. So yori, again we have even more, kokoro is your heart or your mind, right, or kind of even your spirit. Kokoro o yusaburu. So yusaburu, he means to shake something or to kind of jolt, to rock. So in a way it could be kind of, you know, heart shocking, uh, it could be heart shaking, but that sounds a little bit too violent. It's really more like a soul stirring, right, like really making you go, whoa that type of feeling and so kokoro o yusaburu game so it's describing the type of games games that are even more magnificent and even more soul stirring yori sōdai na soshite yori kokoro o yusaburu game tsukuri means making games tsukuri means to make or to produce and so game tsukuri ni idonde kita so here we have idomu means to kind of challenge to do something or here to actually try to do something and then kita is the past form of kuru to come so we have come to attempt to make games that are even more magnificent and even more kind of soul stirring Hora, ie made okuru wa. come on i'll take you home Hora, ie made okuru yo. so hora is a kind of way of getting someone's attention like come on or look Hora, ie made, ie means your house, made means up until. So up until your house, all the way back home, okuru yo, I will send you, or I will kind of escort you somewhere. So okuru means to send, but it could mean to, you know, send a person somewhere. So I will send you home, I'll take you home. Come on, I'll take you home. Hora, ie made okuru yo. Cyberpunk 2077 
in Cyberpunk 2077. So, Cyberpunk 2077 dewa. So, as for in Cyberpunk 2077, so this de wa is saying as for in. De means in, and wa is as for, if you remember from before. So, as for in Cyberpunk 2077, Cyberpunk 2077 dewa. With a vast open world. Open world to. So, na is a na adjective that means vast, huge, immense. And then this word open world, this means open world. So, just like in you know, video game language where you have an open world game, this is that open world, open world. And then we have to, which means and or with. So, with a vast open world, <laughs> an engaging combat, and so here we have tendi ase nigiru sento. So it's pretty hard to hear because of the fight that's going on,、uh, but that's what is being said here. So we have te ni ase nigiru sento. Te ni ase nigiru means to be on the edge of one's seat, right? Just gripping, right? Really engaging. So gripping, and then we have sento. This means combat or battles. So they're saying that with a vast open world and engaging combat, te ni ase nigiru sento. A story that will change depending on your choices. So here we have Sentaku Shidai de Henkashteiku Story. So Sentaku means your selection, your choice. Sentaku Shidai de, this means depending on your choices. Shidai means depending on, and then de is with. So with depending on your choices, Henkashteiku. So Henkasuru means to change, and then Shteiku means to go to do. So it's a story, story that goes to change, Henkashteiku. Depending on your choices, Sentaku Shidai de. Through a unique character growth system. So here we have Dokuji no character seicho system o toshite. Dokuji means unique or in your own way. So your own personal something. That's the no, so it's showing possessive to something. So an original. Character seicho system. Character means a character, like a character in a play or a game or a movie. Seicho is the growth. So the growth of the character, system. So system means the system. So a character growth system. Character seicho system. O toshite means through. So through a unique character growth system, Dokuji no character seicho system o toshite. You will get to experience every inch of the dark future. So, dark na mirai o sumizumi made taiken shite morao koto ni naru. So, dark na, it's the adjective saying something is dark. What is dark? Mirai. That's the future. So, a dark future. Dark na mirai. Dark na mirai o, and then we have sumizumi made. So, sumizumi means every nook and cranny, all the way, every inch, right? And then made up until. So, up until every nook and cranny, every inch. Sumizumi made. Taiken shite morao. Taiken suru means to experience. Taiken is an experience or a trial. Taiken shite morao means that you will receive. They will have you do something. And then koto ni naru means that it has been arranged so that. So this game has been made so that you will get to experience every inch of the dark future. Dark na mirai o sumizumi made taiken shite morao koto ni naru. This city doesn't give you a choice. So, kono machi wa sentakushi o kurenai. <laughs> so, this is kind of funny because they're talking about how the game gives you all of these choices, and then here the first thing he says is the city doesn't give you any choice. <laughs>、uh, so, first we have Kono Machi. Kono Machi means this town, or it could be this city because this really is a city, not a town. Kono Machi wa, as for this city, Sentakushi o Kurenai. So, Sentakushi means choices. And so we saw Sentaku meaning a selection or a choice. Here we have Sentakushi, which means choices, kind of in the plural sense. So, Sentakushi o Kurenai. Kureru means to do for someone or to give, to let someone have. So, Kurenai means to not let someone have. So, they don't let someone have any choices. Sentakushi o Kurenai. いつかそのまま消えちまうんじゃないか
I believe that one day I'll disappear just like that. So, itsuka means someday. So, he's talking about someday in the future. Itsuka, sono mama means just like that, right? Nothing changes. Sono mama. Sono mama, kie chimao. This means kieru is to disappear, and then chimao means to completely do something. So, kie chimao means to completely disappear. Janaika, this means isn't it that? So, isn't it that I will completely disappear without changing someday? Te omonda. Te is a quoting particle. It's the casual quoting particle. And so here he's quoting, isn't it that I will disappear someday? Or more. This means to think. So he's quoting exactly what he thinks. He thinks that someday he's just going to disappear just like that. And then we have nda at the end. And this is just a way of saying that it is that, right? So it is that I believe that one day won't it be that I'll just disappear like that. Itsuka sono mama kiechimaun janai ka te omonda. Toki wa 2077 the year is 2077. Tokiwa ni nen. So Tokiwa means the time is. Toki means time or kind of the era. Tokiwa as for the time. And then we have ni sen nanaju nana nen. So ni sen is 2000. Nanaju is 70. Nana is 7. So ni sen nanaju nana nen. Nen is the year. So the year 2077. The economic crisis in the United States has led to nuclear terrorism. So, America no keizai kiki wa. As for the economic crisis in America, America is America, America no, so something to do with America, keizai kiki. Keizai is economy and kiki is a crisis or a danger, so the economic crisis. Keizai kiki. Wa, as for, Kaku terrorism. So kaku is nuclear. If you've seen my Metal Gear series, you'll be very familiar with this word. Kaku is nuclear weapons. And then terrorism is just terror, right? Terrorism. So nuclear terrorism, or for short, kaku terror. So kaku terrorism. And then we have e to. So this means towards hatten shi. So hatten means to develop. And she is saying that something happens and there's more, right? It's kind of giving a list. So there has been developments like, you know, nuclear terrorism because of, you know, the economic crisis in America. Kokawa Hokai. And the country has collapsed. So Kokawa Hokai. Koka here is the state or the country, right? So the state has Hokai collapsed. Now there isn't any verb tenses here, so there's no shita to be collapsed. However, just saying Kokawa Hokai means that as for the country, collapse, right? It's a way of being a little bit more artistic saying that the country has collapsed, right? So Kokawa Hokai, the country has collapsed. Large parts of the continent have been reduced to lawless zones. So Taireku no Daibubun. Taireku here means a continent, and then Daibubun means a majority, large parts of. And then we have the no particle again, so we can see the relationship. A majority of the continent. Taireku no Daibubun. Then we have wa, so as for, that's what we're talking about. So the topic is the large parts of the continent. And then we have muhochitai. Muhochitai means lawless zones. Muho means no law. Chitai means an area or a zone. So lawless zones. Muhochitai to. And then we have kash. So kasu here means to change into, to transform into. So here we see again kasu turning into kashi, meaning that the sentence isn't over. You might remember this from de aru and then into de ari, showing that the sentence isn't finished yet and it's continuing on. People who have lost their way. Ikiba o ushinatta hitobito wa. So ikiba means a place to go, right? Like your home, a place where you can go, like where, where you belong. Ikiba o Ushinata. So again, we see have lost. So we've lost the place where you go. And so ikiba ushinata hitobito wa. Hitobito means people, right? Man and woman, child, everyone. It's in a kind of plural sense, hitobito. So the word hito is being used twice, hitobito. And this means people in a large scale. Wa 
as four. So as for people who have lost their way, they've swarmed to one of the last megalopuses left in the world, Night City. So, Sekai ni noko sarita saigo no kyodai toshi no hitotsu. Night City e to oshiyoseta. So let's start from the beginning. We have Sekai ni. Sekai means the world or society. So, in the world or in society, noko sarita means to have been left. Nokosu means to leave something behind. Noko sarita, we see that passive form again, the sareru. This means to have been left behind. Where? Sekai ni. In the world. And then we have saigo no. The last of something. Saigo is the last. No is that possessive. So showing that something is the last. Saigo no kyodai toshi. There we go. So that's what the last thing is. Kyodai toshi. Which means a megalopolis. So this means just a gigantic city. Kind of like, you know, how Tokyo is kind of a megalopolis. Here is, you know, a futuristic megalopolis. Which is kyodai toshi. Kyodai is just giant, huge. And toshi is a city. So just a giant city. Okay, so the last giant city. Saigo no kyodai toshi no hitotsu. Hitotsu means one, one of. So it's one of the last remaining megalopolises. Noko sareta saigo no kyodai toshi no hitotsu. And then we have Naito City e to oshiyoseta. So Naito City e to means to Night City, which is the megalopolis that is left. Oshiyoseta means that they've kind of swarmed to. Oshiyoseru means to kind of, you know, move into something, advance into something in kind of great numbers. So it's kind of saying that everyone's crammed into this city, everyone's flooded to this city, everyone's flocked to this city, everyone's swarmed to the city. A mecca for all kinds of resources and know-how. So here we have Arayuru resource to know-how no mecca. So we have lots of katakana, Japanese and English here. So arayuru, here is one of the only bits that's actually pure Japanese. Arayuru means all kinds of, every kind of. Arayuru, so all kinds of what? All kinds of resource. Resource means resources. To and know-how. This means know-how. So resources and know-how. Resource to know-how no Mecca. A mecca means just the center for everything. A very common expression you may have heard in English, the mecca of something means just the absolute home, the center of something. For example, Akihabara might be the mecca for otaku culture in the world, right? In Japan, that's where everyone goes for otaku culture. So here is the mecca for all kinds of resources uh, and know-how. A place where large companies that produce cutting edge technologies gather. So, first we have Sai Sentan Technology. So, Sai Sentan means the cutting edge, the very latest, the state of the art. Sai Sentan Technology, that means the latest technology. Technology is technology. Or Umidasu. So umidasu means to create or to bring forth or to produce. So, you know, producing the latest technologies. Dai kigyo. So all of this is just describing the dai kigyo, which means a large corporation. So large corporations that produce the latest technology. Sai sentan technology o umidasu dai kigyo ga. So now the ga particle here is known as the subject marker. It's different from the wa particle because that's the topic marker. But what this really means is the ga is showing who is doing an action. Whereas the wa is just speaking of a certain topic. So here, ga, we can see that the companies are doing something. What are they doing? Atsumaru basho. Ah, so they are gathering to this place. Atsumaru means to gather and basho means a place. So, this is a place where huge companies who develop all of the latest technologies gather. Sai Sentan Technology o Umidasu Dai Kigyo ga Atsumaru Basho. As far as the people are concerned, Night City is a city that shines with hope. So, here we have Hitobito ni Totte. 
So hitobito we've already learnt means people in the kind of large scale sense. Nitote is a new word and this means as far as something is concerned, right? So from the standpoint of someone, so as far as the people are concerned, Naito shiti wa, as for Night City, so as far as the people are concerned about Night City, kibo de kagayaku machi na no da. So kibo means hope, right? So something that is just ah oh, promising in the future. Kibo de kagayaku, so de means with, and then kagayaku means sparkle or shine, and so it's shining with hope or aspirations. Machi na no da. So it's a town that shines with hope. And so the sentence finishes off with nanoda, which is saying that you can say with certainty that it is the case, right? So they're informing you of a certain situation. This is the same as nanda, but it's just the full version, nanoda. Eh? So so masaka. What? No way! Eh? So eh? Is kind of a really Japanese way of going, what? <laughs> uh, if you've ever watched Japanese TV, you will be very familiar with this phrase. It happens every five seconds, everyone, eh? <laughs> so, uso de sho means no way, right? Uso is like lying, right? So to say that something you don't believe, it's not true. Uso de sho, de sho is just saying right. So, it's a lie, right? Or no way. Such a thing, it can't be. Sonna masaka. So sonna means that kind of thing, but it's showing that he has a disbelief towards something like such a thing, right? It kind of sometimes if you see something that's just absolutely horrible, you'll be like, oh, sonna. Like it's just horrible, that kind of thing. But here he's actually surprised. He's like, oh, I can't believe it. Such a thing, sonna masaka. Masaka is another word to say no way. This means that you kind of do not expect something, right? Something unexpected has happened, and you're just like, what? No way, masaka. It's not a dream. So, yume ja arimasen yo. Yume means dream, and then we have ja arimasen, which is just the more polite way of saying that it isn't. So, ja nai means is not, ja arimasen is exactly the same, it's just a little bit more formal. So, it's not a dream. Yume ja arimasen yo. And then again, we have yo here adding emphasis. However, as for the real streets, daga, jisai no street o wa. So daga means however, so it's kind of a conjunction saying that may be the case. However, jisai no street o wa. So jisai means the actual, in reality. Jisai no street o means the streets, so the actual streets. Jisai no street o wa. As for the real streets, they are nothing but a merciless battleground. Mujihi na senjo ni hokanara nai. So mujihi means ruthless, senseless, merciless, unfeeling. So it just has no mercy. Mujihi na, so it's a, it's a na adjective. Then we have senjo, this means a battlefield or a battleground. So a merciless battleground. Mujihi na senjo ni hokanara nai. This means to be nothing but, right? So hoka is other, naranai means to not become, so it just isn't anything but that. It is nothing but, it is merely a ruthless battleground. Mujihi na senjo ni hoka naranai. Gyangu. Gangs. So gangu. Kigyo agent. Kingyo agent. So kingyo here means a enterprise or a company or a corporation, and then agent is an agent, right? So you can see this really cool looking guy that looks like he belongs in Mass Effect or something uh, with the red eyes and he's a kind of businessman. They are corporate agents. Kingyo agent. Chimpira. Thugs or punks. So this chimpira here, if you've seen the Yakuza series, uh, you'll know that this word kind of means a punk, a kind of grunt or a you know a soldier for a gang, right? Chimpira, a punk. Karuto shinja. Cultists. So karuto shinja. Karuto is a cult, and then shinja means a believer. So karuto, any kind of cult. Shinja doesn't have to be to do with cults. It could just be to do with anything that you're a believer of. So if you have a religion or if you have any kind of thing that you're a believer of, that would be shinja. So you are a devotee, a believer to something. Karuto shinja, a believer or a devoter to cults, cultists. Sejika. 
politicians, seiji ka. So seiji here means politics, and then ka is kind of showing the person, right? Seiji ka, politicians. And all kinds of criminals are at war with each other over influence day and night. So soshite and arayuru, so again we know that, all kinds of, all kinds of hanzaisha. This is a new word and this means a criminal. Hanzaisha tachi, tachi is a plural suffix. So this means that it is more than one. So more than one criminal, the criminals. Hanzaisha tachi ga, okay, so now we know that the criminals are doing something because we have this ga particle. What are they doing? Seiryoku arasoi ni akekure. So first we have seiryoku arasoi. Seiryoku means for power or strength or military presence. And then we have arasoi means a fight, a conflict, a kind of war. So seiryoku arasoi means a conflict for influence, right? So if you have like gangs that are fighting and competing for influence over an area, that would be seiryoku arasoi. And then we have ni akekure. So akekure means day and night all of the time. So they're fighting all of the time. And ordinary citizens also get involved in the conflict. So here we have ippan shimin mo. So ippan shimin means just ordinary general citizens. Ippan means normal, shimin means a citizen. So just general citizens. Mo means also. So also ordinary citizens makizoi o kutteiru. Makizoi means to get caught up in something, to get mixed in with something. And then we have kuteru. Here it means to receive something that's kind of unfavorable. So they're getting involved, they're getting wrapped up in the fight and the conflict between all of these gangs for control. For the sake of justice in this city. So here we have the main character, it appears to be asking this guy if that's what his motives are for justice. And so starting off, we have segi, which means justice, no tame means for the sake of. So for the sake of justice, segi no tame ka means he's asking a question. Is it for the sake of justice? Kono naito shiti de. So kono, this naito shiti means night city, and then de means at or in. So in this night city, Seeking justice? Fukushu no tameda. It's for the sake of revenge. Fukushu no tameda. So here this guy in the man bun answers and he says it's for the sake of revenge. Fukushu no tameda. And so Fukushu means revenge. So if you've seen Naruto, you know that Sasuke is a Fukushu sha, that is a revenger, someone who seeks revenge. No tameda means for the sake of. So he's saying that it is for the sake of revenge, not justice. It's a fitting motive in this city, wouldn't you agree? So kono machi ni mo, also in this town, fusawashi means appropriate or suitable. So in this town also, a suitable doki means motive. Daro means right, or wouldn't you agree? So wouldn't you agree that it is a suitable motive for this kind of city? Kono machi ni mo, fusawashi doki daro. In this world ruled by endless warfare, Owarinaki Koso ni Shihai Sareta Kono Sekai dewa. So Owarinaki means without end. Owaru means to finish to end. Naki means without. Naku, without. So without end. Koso, this means a dispute or resistance or this kind of warfare that's going on. So koso ni shihai sareta. So shihai means to rule over something, to control and to rule. So shihai sareta means that it has been ruled by the ni owarinaki koso, an endless conflict. Kono sekai de wa. So all of this was just describing kono sekai this world. So this is a world that is ruled by endless combat. There are also jobs that only outsiders can do. So here we have hagure mono ni shika dekinai shigoto mo aru. So hagure mono, this means outsiders, kind of stragglers, people from, you know, the outside, kind of those that are not in this society. Ni 
しかできない。So, しか with the nai form of the verb means nothing but, okay? And so, しかできない means that it's the only thing that you can do, or the only one who can do it. しかできない。So, a trick about this shka with the nai form, whenever you see shka, you always know that a verb is going to appear in the nai form. And what you should do is you should treat that verb like it's actually not in the negative form, but only can do, right? So, deki nai can't do, shka deki nai is the only thing you can do. Shigoto mo aru. Shigoto is work, mo also aru to exist. So there is also work, shigoto mo aru, that can only be done, shika dekinai, by outsiders. Hagure mono ni. Hokoku ga aru yoda na. It seems like you have something to report. Hokoku ga aru yoda na. So, hokoku here means, you know, your report. So, he's clearly working for this guy, he has something to report. Hokoku ga aru, he has a report. Yodana, it appears that it's the case, and then dana is right, isn't it? It's just like saying desne, isn't it? Come on, let's hear it, or certainly let's hear it. Zehi is saying, you know, please do something, right? You're saying, by all means, go ahead and do it. Zehi, and then kikasete kure, this means to let me hear, or to make me hear. Here. So, kikaseru means to make someone hear, and then the kure is do for me. So, pretty much just, you know, certainly tell me. Zehi, kikasete kure. Cybernetics による身体強化を施したようで A mercenary who has been physically augmented with cybernetics. So, here we have cybernetiku ni yoru. So, cybernetiku, this is cybernetics, and then ni yoru means by means of. So, by means of cybernetics, cybernetiku ni yoru. And then we have shintai kyoka wo hodokoshita yohei. So, shintai here is your body. And then we have kyoka means to be reinforced or strengthened. So, strengthened bodies, right, physically augmented. O hodokoshita means to have been done or to be applied. And then we have your hair. So the whole thing is talking about your hair. It's all describing the your hair. So mercenary is your hair. Mercenaries who have been given physical augmentation by means of cybernetics. So, cybernetic ni yoru. Shintai kyoka o hodokoshita your hair. Sore ga kimida. That is you. Sore ga Kimida. Sore means that, and then ga is showing who is the one that is the previous thing that was being talked about. Sore ga kimida. You. Kimi means you, and da means to be. So, that is you. Sore ga kimida. I'm sure we're able to understand each other. Otagai rikai dekiteru hazuda. So, otagai means each other, right, in a kind of mutual sense. And then, rikai dekiru means to be able to understand. Rikai suru is to understand. And then, dekiteru means to be able to do something. So, rikai dekiteru, we are able to understand each other. Otagai hazuda. Hazu means it is expected to be the case. It is supposed to be the case. I believe it is the case. So I'm sure that we're able to understand each other. Otagai rikai dekiteru hazu da. Uketore. Take this. Uketore. So uketoru just means to accept something, to receive something, to take it, right? So take this. Uketore. This is him putting it into the imperative form, telling him to take it. Uketore. Yohei wa dono seiryoku ni mo zokusenai. Yohei wa dono seiryoku ni mo zokusanai. So, yohei wa, as for mercenaries, that's what we're talking about. Dono seiryoku means whatever kind of force or any kind of might. Dono seiryoku ni mo, so no matter what force, no matter what might. Zokusanai. Zokusu means to belong to something or to be affiliated with something. Zokusanai means that you're not belonging to anything or affiliated with anything. And so, as for mercenaries, they're not belonging to any of these forces. Yohei wa dono seiryoku ni mo zokusanai. You have chosen to live as an outlaw. Autoro toshite ikikato o erabi. So here we have autoro. This is a katakana way of saying outlaw. Autoro toshite as an outlaw. Toshite means as something. So you're doing something as an outlaw. Autoro toshite ikikata 
Ikikata means the way of living. Ikiru means to live. Kata means the way of doing something. Ikikata means the way of living. Or erabi. Erabu means to choose, to select. So I am choosing something that is erabu. Again, we see it in erabi, meaning that it's not yet at the end of the sentence. It's going to be continuing on. And you can also tell by the comma that I've written. So you've chosen to live as an outlaw. Autoro toshite no ikikata o erabi. In the severe underworld of Night City. So, Night City no karetsu na urashakai de. Night City no, so something of Night City. And then we have karetsu na. So, karetsu means very strict, very severe, right? So, very extreme circumstances. Karetsu na urashakai. Urashakai means the underworld, right? Ura means the back. So it's kind of, you know, the, the shadow, the part that you never see. Shakai is society, so it's the underworld, right? The, the underbelly, the parts of the world that no one sees. Urashakai de in the underworld. Aiming for the top, relying only on your own strength. So, onore no chikara. Onore means one's own. Chikara is your power or your strength. So, with your own strength, dake o. Dake means only, and then o is the object marker particle. So, doing something with only your own strength. Tayori ni. Tayoru means to depend on. So, to only be depending on your own strength, Choten o mezasu. Choten is the summit, the peak of a mountain, the very highest point, and then mezasu means to aim for. So aiming for the very top, relying only on your strength. So onore no chikara dake o tayori ni choten o mezasu. no shinzobu. The heart of Night City. Naito city no shinzobu. So we have Naito City, Night City, No, and then Shinzo is your heart, okay? But then we have Bu, which means a part. This kind of means the center of something. Or a common English expression is the heart of something. This right here is the heart of Night City. Naito City no Shinzo Bu. In order to rise up in the world, you need the right equipment and skills. Noshiagaru ni wa tekisetsu na sobi to skiru. So, noshiagaru means to rise up, to climb in the ranks. Ni wa in order to, so in order to climb up in the ranks. Noshiagaru ni wa tekisetsu na. Tekisetsu means appropriate, suitable, the right. So, the right sobi to. Skiru. So sobi is your equipment. So in a video game like Final Fantasy where you have the equipment option, that is sobi. To skiru means your skills. So you need the right equipment and skills in order to climb to the top. Noshi ageru ni wa tekisetsu na sobi to skiru. And you need respect. Soshite respecto ga hitsyoda. So soshite and and then respecto is respect. Ga hitsyoda means the thing that you need. That is what is necessary. So all of the things that were just mentioned, like the right equipment and skills, and soshite respecto ga hitsyoda. They are the things that you need in order to climb to the top. Rex kara iroiro kiteru wa yo. I've heard a lot about you from Rex. So Rex kara iroiro kiteru wa yo. So Rex is the guy's name. So clearly another character's name is Rex. Rex kara from Rex. Iroiro means various things. Lots of different things. Iroiro kiteru wa yo. Kiteru means I have heard or I am hearing. And then wayo at the end is a feminine way of adding some assertiveness and emphasis to what she's saying. And so wa is a very feminine way of ending a sentence in standard Japanese. I hope you live up to your reputation, however. So hyoban dori da to in da kedo. Hyoban is your reputation, how you are reputed in a certain way, you know, what your kind of review is. Hyoban dori means just as you are reputed to be. Dori means just as. So just as your reputation, Hyoban dori da to in da kedo. Dato is quoting to be a certain way. E means to be good. Ndakedo, it is however. Okay, so it sounds a bit messy. Let's put it together. It is however good if 
You are as reputed. 評判通りだといいんだけど。So a more natural way of saying that would be, I hope you live up to your reputation. It would be good if you lived up to your reputation. 仕事をこなせば報酬が支払われる。If you complete the work, you will get rewards. So 仕事をこなせば報酬が支払われる。So let's start at the beginning. Shigoto o konaseba. Shigoto is your work, o meaning you're doing something with your work, and then konasu means to finish, to complete. Konasu is in the ba form, which is the hypothetical form. So if you complete your work, Shigoto o konaseba, hoshu ga shiharawareru. Hoshu is a reward or a remuneration. So being paid for doing a job, and then that is exactly what the next word is, shiharawareru. So this is the passive form to be paid. Shiharao means to pay. Shiharawareru means to be paid. So you will be paid your reward, hoshu, if you complete your work. Shigoto o konaseba. Obtain weapons and cyberware. So we have Buki ya cyberware o tenidero. Buki is weapons, like you can see on the screen, guns and all the sorts. And then cyberware means cyberware. So for example, the kind of you know, ghost in the shell type stuff where you have brain hacks and those kind of technologies, that would be cyberware. Te ni irero is te ni ireru, which means to obtain something. Te ni ireru, I've obtained something. Te ni irero is telling someone to obtain something. What do you need to obtain? Buki ya cyberware. If you increase your experience as a mercenary, so we have yohei toshite no keikenchi o agereba. So, a lot of familiar language already. Yohei, the mercenary, toshite, as a mercenary, no keiken chi. So, keiken is experience, and then chi is like points. So, keiken chi, experience, points, o agereba. So, ageru, we've seen already to mean to go up, no shi ageru, to go up, agereba is, as you can guess, the hypothetical form of ageru. Agereba, if You increase if you put it up. So, if we put it all together, your experience as a mercenary, your hair toshite no keiken chi o agereba, if you raise, you'll be able to open up perks that strengthen your abilities. So, we have no ryoku o kyokashi, paku o kaijo suru koto ga dekiru. So, we have no ryoku. This means your ability. So, no ryoku o kyoka. So, we've seen kyoka before, it means to strengthen something. So, strengthening your abilities, no ryoku o kyokashi, paku o Kaijo suru. Paku is a perk. Kaijo is to release. But in this sense, it's kind of to unlock, to open up, right? So to open up perks, to unlock perks, paku o kaijo suru, koto ga dekiru. So koto ga dekiru is a set phrase and it means literally the thing that you can do. It is that you can do. And so paku o kaijo suru, to unlock perks, Koto ga dekiru, you will be able to do. From the gunslinger with superhuman reflexes. So, chojin teki na hansha shinke o yusuru gunslinger kara. So, let's have a look at the beginning. We have chojin teki na. This is a na adjective and it means superhuman. Cho is super, jin is for person, teki is like, so superhuman like. And then we have hansha shinke, this means your reflexes. Hansha shinke, or yusuru, means to possess something. So to possess superhuman like reflexes, cho jin teki na hansha shinke o yusuru gunslinger kara. So, gunslinger is a gunslinger and kara is from. So, you can tell that they're listing something. From the gunslinger with superhuman reflexes. <laughs> to the net runner with all kinds of tech to command at will. So, arayuru, again, all kinds of. Teku means tech, so all kinds of tech, arayuru teku, o i no mama ni ayatsuru netto rana made. So i no mama means at will, i is your intention, no mama is just like, so at will, i no mama, at will, ni 
ayatsuru is to be able to manipulate or to make use of something, to control. So to control at will. Ino mama ni ayatsuru netto rana made. Netto rana is the net runner and then made is two. So from the gunslinger to the net runner. Gunslinger kara netto rana made. Establish your own style. Jibun dake no style o kakuritsu shiro. So jibun dake means only yourself. Jibun is yourself, dake is only. So kind of, you know, your own way. Jibun dake no style. Style is your style. So your own style o kakuritsu shiro. Kakuritsu is to establish. And then shiro is the imperative form of suru, telling you to do something. So establish your own style. Jibun dake no style o kakuritsu shiro. In this story, monogatari no naka. Monogatari means a story or a tale, and then no naka means inside. So, in this story, monogatari no naka. You rob a certain prototype biochip, but. So, kimi wa you, to aru means a certain, and then we have shisaku gata. So shisaku means trial and gata means type. So a trial type, a prototype. Shisaku gata no. And then we have seitai chipu. So seitai is like a living thing, an organism. Seitai chipu means a living chip, a biochip. Living chip o godatsu suru mo. So godatsu means to plunder, to seize, to rob. Suru to do and then mo means but. So this is a little bit of an old way of saying but. So it's like saying suru ga o shita ga suru mo. So you rob a certain prototype biochip but. Kimi wa to aru shisaku gata no seitai chip o godatsu suru mo. Bakudai na hoshu ni. To huge rewards. So bakudai na hoshu ni. So the first word here is bakudai na. It's a na adjective meaning huge. So just enormous hoshu is rewards, remunerations. And then ni is two. So it's kind of cheering. To huge rewards. So they're celebrating that they've stolen this biochip. Bakudai na hoshu ni. Hokan yoki ga hasen shi. The storage container is damaged. So we have hokan yoki wa hason shi. So hokan is storage, and then we have yoki is a container. So storage container, hokan yoki ga hason shi means to be damaged. And then shi is sudo, however, it's showing again that the sentence is continuing. So the storage container is damaged and. And with no other option, you end up having to insert the chip into your own head. So yamunaku means without any other choice, out of necessity. You have no other option. Yamunaku, sono chip o. Sono means that, chip is the chip, and the o means you're doing something with it. So without any choice, with that chip, jibun no atama ni. Jibun is again yourself. Atama is your head. Ni is in. So in your own head, sonyu suru koto ni naru. So sonyu suru means to insert, and then koto ni naru means to end up, to become a certain way. So it became that you needed to insert it into your own head. Jibun no atama ni sonyu suru koto ni naru. Naka ni wa digital data ka sareta Johnny Silver Hand. Inside is a digitalized Johnny Silverhand. Naka ni wa digital data kasareta Johnny Silverhand. So naka ni wa as for inside digital data, so digital data, and then we have kasareta. Kasu means to change into something. Kasareta was changed into something, and so was changed into digital data, digital data, which means a digitized. So he's been turned into, you know. Digital data, Johnny Silverhando, Johnny Silverhand. The soul of a dead rocker boy that's been preserved. So we have Shinda Rocker Boy no Tamashi ga Hozon Sarteita. So Shinda means had died. Shinu means to die. Shinda is the past form. So dead. Rocker boy is a kind of way of saying a rocker boy, right? A kind of a singer, lead singer, a rocker boy. So rocker boy no tamashi. Tamashi is your soul. So the soul of a dead rocker boy ga hozon sareteita. 
Hozonsuru is to save or to preserve, okay? So the soul of this dead rocker has been preserved in that chip. Inside my head, you mean there's a real terrorist there? So, ore no atama no naka ni. So, ore means me, ore no my, ore no atama no naka ni. So, inside my head, honmono no terroristo ga iru te koto ka. Honmono means the real deal, terroristo is the terrorist. So, a real life terrorist, honmono no terroristo ga. So, something that the terrorist is doing, iru. To be, to exist. So the terrorist exists inside my head, and then he says, te kotoka. Now, so te kotoka is saying, like, are you saying that, or you mean that, or it is the case that. So he's questioning that it is the case. He's realizing, so that means that I have a real life terrorist inside my head. Ore no atama no naka ni, honmono no terroristo ga iru te kotoka. As for him, in order to take down the company that made the chip, so kare wa, so we now know that we're talking about him, kare is him, wa is the topic. So regarding him, Johnny Silverhand, chip o tsukuta kigyo o taosu beku. So chip is the chip, chip o tsukuta kigyo is the company that made the chip o taosu. So this is a new word and this means to overthrow, to defeat. Beku is in order to. So in order to defeat the company that created the chip, Chipo tsukutta kigyo o taosu beku. Fukushu ni moete. He is burning with revenge. Fukushu ni moete iru. So fukushu we've already learnt means revenge, but this new word moete iru means to be burning with, right? So moeru is to burn, moete iru is to be burning, it's in the continuous form, and then we have fukushu ni, so with revenge, just burning with revenge. He really wants to get revenge. Do anything to beat them down and stop them from running wildly. So yatsura o boso tome. Yatsura is those guys, boso is just running wildly, being rampant, and then tome is to stop. So stop them from running rampant. Yatsura no boso tome. Stop their rampant behavior. And then we have tataki no mesu tame nara nandatte suru. So tataki no mesu means to beat down, to knock down. Tame nara if it's for the case of knocking them down. So tame means for the case. Nara is a hypothetical. So if it's the case that you need, you know, to knock them down, nandatte suru. Nandate is a casual way of saying nandemo, which means anything. So do anything. Nandate suru. And so if it's for the sake of stopping them, you can do anything. A mysterious biochip with hidden dangerous powers. So kiken no chikara ga himerareta nazo no seitai chip. Kiken na is a na adjective meaning dangerous. Kiken means danger, kiken na is dangerous. Kiken na chikara, so we've seen chikara, it means your power, your strength. So a dangerous strength, a dangerous power. Kiken na chikara ga himerareta. This means to be hidden, to be concealed. Nazo no seitai chip. Nazo is a mysterious. Nazo no seitai chip is the biochip. So a mysterious biochip that is hidden with dangerous power. Kiken na chikara ga himerareta. Nazo no seitai chip. Sore o shichu ni osame yo to suru mono wa ato o tatane. Those who are trying to obtain it are endless. Sore o shichu ni osame yo to suru mono wa ato o tatane. So sore is that, sore o, doing something with that, referring to the chip. So shuchu ni osameru means to take something into your own possession. And then we have yo to suru, so they're trying to do something. So we have osame yo to suru means that you're trying to do something. The yo to suru form is showing that. So trying to take it into their own possession, shuchu ni osame yo to suru mono wa, Mono is people, wa as for. So as for people who are trying to obtain that and make it into their own possession, ato o tatanai. There is no end to. So ato o tatanai is a phrase meaning endless. It never ends. 
Clearly referring to that really badass sounding guy here uh, jumping from the second floor uh, down here to kill him. So here this guy says, Omae no iki no ne o tomete yaru te na. So omae no iki, your breath. Omae, you, in a kind of rude way. Omae no iki, iki is your breath. So your breath, omae no iki no ne. So the root of your breath. And then ne o tomete yaru. This is kind of saying that I'm going to just choke out the source of your breath. I'm going to choke the life out of you. And so ne o tomete yaru te na. Where the story goes changes depending on your choices. So first we have monogatari no yukusue wa. So monogatari we know is the story, but yukusue, this means that how it goes, one's path, one's way. So the way of the story, the path of the story, where the story goes, monogatari no yukusue wa, changes depending on your choices. Kimi no sentaku ni yotte henka suru. So kimi no sentaku, your choices, ni yotte, depending on, so that's a new word, ni yoru, means to depend on something. So depending on your choices, kimi no sentaku ni yotte henka suru. It changes. Put an end to it. That's why you came here, right? So, shimatsu shite, this means to finish something, to finish something off, to kind of deal with something, so, you know, to get rid of someone. Shimatsu shite, sono tame ni, for that sake, kitan desho, it is that you came, right? So, sono tame ni, for that sake, we know that kuru here means to come, kita is the past form of come, and then this n desho, the n is saying it is that, and then desho is right. So it is that you came here for that reason, right? Sono tame ni kitan desho. Be that as it may, fighting isn't everything in Night City. Towa ie. Towa ie means be that as it may, or having said that. So towa ie, tatakai ga, fighting is naito shiti no subete dewa nai. It is not everything in Night City. Naito shiti no subete, that means everything about Night City. Subete is everything. Dewa nai is just like ja arimasen. It means it is not the case. Dewa nai is a little bit more polite way of saying it. So it is not everything. Subete dewa nai. Play style. Fashion. Norimono. Hito to no tsukiyai ya romance. Play style. Play style. Fashion. Fashion. Rides. Norimono. Noru means to ride. Mono means a thing. Norimono is a kind of vehicle or a ride. Socializing and romance with people. Hitoto no tsukiai ya romance. So hitoto with people no tsukiai. Tsukiai means you're socializing with people. Ya is listing something. It's just like the to particle, but it's listing. So it's saying things like socializing and romance. Romance. What it is you do is up to you, the player. Nani o suru ka wa preya shidai da. So nani o suru, what you do, nani is what, suru is do, what you do, ka, nani o suru ka, what it is you do wa, as for preya shidai da. It is up to you, the player. Preya shidai. Jisenai no open world adventure. The next generation open world adventure. Jisedai no open world adventure. So, Jisedai, again, if you've seen my Metal Gear Solid series, you know this word. It means the next generation. So, the next generation of open world adventures. Open world adventure. Cyberpunk 2077. Welcome to the world of Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077の世界へ ようこそ. So Cyberpunk 2077の世界へ. 世界 is the world, へ is to. So to the world of Cyberpunk 2077ようこそ. Welcome.
And that is it for this video. So we've now covered all of the language in the Japanese version of the gameplay trailer for Cyberpunk 2077. So this is looking to be a really interesting game. I'm very excited about this game coming out. Right now there's only two weeks left until it comes out. And the Japanese dub seems really good good. Uh, it's quite surprisingly good. And so I'm really looking forward to playing this in Japanese. Maybe I'll make some videos about it. Who knows? Maybe not. It's quite a big game, so I'm not sure how to really cover it uh, without, you know, being a, a million year project. So I'm not going to be doing anything like that. But maybe if there's some fun way of covering the game, that could be really cool. But anyway, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I hope you are too. So hopefully you've learned some new language no matter what your level is. And now we're going to play the trailer once more but this time no English and let's see how well you can actually remember some of those phrases. Now don't worry if you don't remember everything some of it's really difficult and there is some background noise that makes it a little bit difficult to hear sometimes but if you can just remember some of the words you can actually you know get proof that you've actually learned something through this video and maybe if you watch it one more time two more times you might pick up some more language and see some actual physical proof uh, that you're learning thank you very much for watching good luck uh, with the rest of the trailer and the video and please let me know how well you're going and if you'd like to see any kind of content like this in the future as always, if you like this kind of video, please leave a like, subscribe, share the video is an amazing way to actually boost the channel. It's probably the best thing you can ever do. Uh, I don't share my videos anywhere publicly because I don't really like that whole self-promotion thing. So if you guys do it, that's amazing. <laughs> so thank you so much to everyone who has uh, done that in the past. Uh, you've pretty much the only reason why my channel has any subscribers. So thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. <laughs> CD プロジェクトレッドはゲーム開発会社でありストーリーテラーでもある我々は新たなプロジェクトごとにより壮大なそしてより心を揺さぶるゲーム作りに挑んできたほら家まで送るわサイバーパンク2077では広大なオープンワールドと手に足握る戦争選択次第で変化していくストーリー独自のキャラクター成長システムを通してダークな未来を隅々まで体験してもらうことになるこの街は選択肢をくれないいつかそのまま消えちまうんじゃないかって思うんだ時は2077年アメリカの経済危機は核テロリズムへと発展し国家は崩壊大陸の大部分は無法地帯と化し行き場を失った人々は世界に残された最後の巨大都市の一つナイトシティへと押し寄せたあらゆるリソースとノウハウのメッカ最先端テクノロジーを生み出す大企業が集まる場所人々にとってナイトシティは希望で輝く街なのだえ嘘でしょそんなまさか夢じゃありませんよだが実際のストリートは無慈悲な戦場に他ならないギャング企業エージェントチンピラカルト信者政治家そしてあらゆる犯罪者たちが勢力争いに明け暮れ一般市民も巻き添えを食っている正義のためかこのナイトシティで復讐のためだこの町にもふさわしい動機だろう終わりなき構想に支配されたこの世界でははぐれ者にしかできない仕事もある報告があるようだなぜひ聞かせてくれサイバネティックスによる身体強化を施した傭兵それが君だお互い理解できているはずだ受け取れ傭兵はどの勢力にも属さないアウトローとしての生き方を選びナイトシティの苛烈な裏社会で己の力だけを頼りに頂点を目指すナイトシティの心臓部のし上がるには適切な装備とスキルそしてリスペクトが必要だデックスからいろいろ聞いてるわよ評判通りだといいんだけど仕事をこなせば報酬が支払われる武器やサイバーウェアを手に入れろと兵としての経験値を上げれば能力を強化しパークを解除することができる超人的な反射神経を有するガンスリンガーから
、あらゆるテックを意のままに操るネットランナーまで。自分だけのスタイルを確立しろ。物語の中、君はとある試作型の生態チップを強奪するも莫大な報酬に保管容器が破損しやむなくそのチップを自分の頭に挿入することになる中にはデジタルデータ化されたジョニー・シルバーハンド死んだロッカーボーイの魂が保存されていた俺の頭の中に本物のテロリストがいるってことか彼はチップを作った企業を倒すべく復讐に燃えている奴らの暴走を止め叩きのめすためなら何だってする危険な力が秘められた謎の生態チップそれを手中に収めようとする者は後を絶たないお前の息の根を止めてやるってな物語の行く末は君の選択によって変化する始末してそのために来たんでしょとはいえ戦いがナイトシティの全てではないプレイスタイルファッション乗り物人との付き合いやロマンス何をするかはプレイヤー次第だ次世代のオープンワールドアドベンチャーサイバーパンク2077の世界へようこそ。